budget officer to go over the budget. We did have a community finance committee uh, meeting last week to talk about the budget. So he's gonna give some high level details as it relates to the budget that we're looking for the board of trustees to approve this evening. Thank you. Can't hear you, Tom. There. Did you hit the button? Is that is that better? <laughs> there okay. you go. All right. I was saying good evening, Mayor, trustees, and all other people participating. Um, I am in the process of loading the presentation, and hopefully Jason will let me share my screen. That should do it, Tom. All right, let me share a screen. Okay. So basically what we're gonna do is a, a scaled down fast recap of everything we went over in the finance committee meeting. We went in, for those that, that couldn't attend, we went into a lot of detail um, of why the changes have occurred and um, Mm-hmm. We're waiting for the PowerPoint to open. Um, so we, we went into a lot more detail, but what I'm going to try to do here is go over and highlight everything and um, see if anyone has any questions. Okay, it looks like it's up. So this is our fiscal 22 budget hearing. And we're gonna start off looking at the general fund revenues. Um, basically we're projecting flat revenues for the next fiscal year. Um, there are some increases and decreases um, that we went into detail, but the, the, the long and short of it is we're expecting fiscal 22 on the revenue side to be as least as good as last year. Um, hopefully as the um, pandemic subsides, uh, things will kind of return back to normal. We might have some pleasant surprises, but I'm not gonna try to forecast the future to guess what those surprises might be. Then I have broken down all of the general fund expenditure expenses, expenditures scheduled for fiscal. Um, and I'm seeing that the, you guys aren't seeing the headings here. This, this column is, was fiscal 21. This column is fiscal 22. And this is the difference percentage increase or decrease during the year. Tom, we, um, can't, Tom, we can't see your, um, your share screen. Oh, let me see how we're doing this. What are you guys seeing? I'm not seeing anything. I don't uh, see you. I don't see it either. All right. Can you see that? No. Where's which one of these is it? Oh, the PowerPoint. Oh, it's the shared snuff. For some reason, that's not going out. It should work because I'd be calling one more time. I mean, to close and open it again, maybe? Which one is it not? Well, this is the screen we're on. No, which one of these is the program you want to share? Um, PowerPoint right here. We've had some technical difficulties pretty much all day, so just be patient with us while. Uh, send this to me. Send, uh, send, the, send the presentation to you? Yeah, to, okay. to me. I'll, I'll put it up on my screen. Okay.
Um, can you hear me? We can hear you, Judy. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna mute. Do I, you need my video or no? Uh, no, I'm sending this uh, PowerPoint presentation to Kevin to see if he can get it to work on his side. Okay, but you don't need me on video, do you? No. Okay, cool. Did you get it, Kevin? Not yet. You sent it to Village email? Yep. Mr. Clerk, I've just made you the host of the meeting, so you should be able to share your screen, no problem. Thank Let you. me know if you have any issues. Okay, thank you. Okay, you see it. For some reason, the screen share is not working today. The screen share is working. Uh, we can see it. It's working. We can see it, Kevin. You see it now? Okay. I can. Mm -hmm. Go okay. up to, to slideshow and then start from the beginning. Got it. Very good. You can click, click, click through that one. Okay, now I'll start over. Um, <clears throat> so basically we're forecasting the revenues for uh, budget year fiscal 2020 to be relatively the same as last year. Um, there are some possible um, improvements to this, but a lot of it depends on what goes on in relations to the uh, pandemic. Next slide. This is a breakdown of, I gotta move move my panel of people here so I can see what we're looking at. Um, this is a breakdown of expenditures by department for the general fund. Um, you can see um, the first column is fiscal 21. The second column is fiscal 22. Um, the third column is the change for the year and the, and the percentage change. Uh, we went through where all these different increases were coming from um, in the last meeting uh, on Wednesday. But overall, the expenditures are going to increase by about 3%. Um, next slide, please. Okay. What that means for us overall is our excess, um, our, after our, our ex, ex, regular operating expenditures are, are, compared, are, are spent this year, we have about 661000 for other uses, most of those uses will be for transfers to the other funds, leaving us um, a, with a slight surplus for the year of, of 12,328. Uh, um, was that just one slide, Kevin? Go back. Was that just one slide? 
Okay. Next slide. All right. Uh, the CDBG fund, which is a community development block grant fund, there is no no activity fund in there this year because there will not be a grant awarded this year. Next slide. Uh, the MFT fund, uh, we are going to get a grant um, with uh, the Build Illinois funds, along with our normal um, MFT funds re received. That will help us um, do some projects using the MFT funds this year. And, and for those of you that are new, MFT funds are restricted to certain uses and MFT is motor fuel tax. Um, as you can see, we are, are quite going to do quite a bit with, with this fund this year. If you wanna click the, the thing for me, Kev. All of the streets that are in red here are streets that are going to be resurfaced or rebuilt. Um, on the lower left-hand side, that is the remaining pro, uh, um, phase of the Braga rebuild project. And then up on the north side, there are um, four streets to be resurfaced there. Um, next, next slide. The Roosevelt TIF um, fund is another area where there's going to be a lot of activity this year. Um, and I've given a, a lot more detail on this because there's a lot going on. Uh, we have our regular expenditures, uh, program expenditures of existing development agreements, and we have quite a bit of other things going on. Um, we have alley resurfacing. We have uh, um, the resurfacing of municipal parking lots and conversion to pay lots. And we also have money budgeted for the um, streetscape east, which is something we're working with with the state of Illinois to continue the streetscape project that, that is it stopped at 17th. We'd like this to take east of 17th on down to the, the end of Broadview. Do you wanna click it, Kevin? This, these are the um, four lots that will be converted to pay lots. And I can, from what I'm looking at, right now, it's really hard to see the fourth one. Um, the purple one is the one over by Ace Hardware. Uh, the, the red one on the north side of the street is by Pete's. And there's a vacant lot further down on the south side, which is, is a, a good size lot. There is also a small lot by the library, which Kevin, you can, can you point to that one? You're there, yeah, right there. Doesn't seem to be colored in this, but it was colored on the one that I scanned. So I don't quite sure how that happened. But those four lots will be resurfaced, restriped. They will have kiosks put, put in them. And they're part of a larger plan to um, provide parking, um, not only for the businesses, but also for residents in the area. Um, next slide, please. Also, you can see, uh, this is the same slide we, we looked at for MFT, but also the TIF funds are going to be used to resurface some alleys, north and south of Roosevelt. And those alleys are specifically alleys that are not eligible for the IEPA loan. So what we're, be, what we're able to do here is, is do the alley all the way down because the other parts of the alley are eligible for the IEPA loan. So we'll use that to do the rest of the, the alley on the north side of Roosevelt and on the south side also. The ones that were not eligible, basically because we're not digging them up to put a new water pipe under them, we're going to pay for, for through these TIF funds. Uh, next slide, please. <laughs> I need to dock you guys. You guys keep, there we go. Oh, okay, there, I can do that. All right. Um, the next one we're looking at is the 19th Street. It is that quick because everything that we, we, we take in in the 19th Street TIF fund is paid out uh, per the developer agreement to the development uh, that occurred on the corner of 17th um, Avenue and 19th Street. That includes Chase, uh, Jimmy John's, Advanced Auto, and a couple other businesses over there. Next, next uh, slide. 
17th Avenue has no projects scheduled in here. Um, the only thing that is, is expense wise in there is we're going to be required to do an annual audit. Um, the big change here is this TIF has not produced any increment in its lifetime so far. Um, some of the legal expenses that we incurred last year uh, to change the way the property tax numbers were grouped together is allowing some increment to start flowing and we're expecting to actually make a little money this year. Um, next slide. There are no capital fund projects this year because due to lack of funds. And the water fund is the other uh, department, uh, the other fund that is going to have a lot of activity in it. And I highlighted that IEPA loan because on the um, presentation we did on Wednesday, I had left that out. So we were showing huge defi deficiencies on the bottom. And the question was, well, how are you gonna make that up? Well, it's, it's not a deficiency in the sense that it, we just didn't show that we were going to have this loan. This, this loan is a, um, a revolving line of credit at a low interest rate that we can use to do projects as we pay it back, we can then do more projects. So it's, it's a program that's been set up to try to help municipalities upgrade their infrastructure. So the IPEA loan will pay for, for the replacement of several of our major um, water mains and the resurfacing of the alleys that are underneath them. Also in the water fund this year, we're going to take care of an issue that we have over on uh, Gardner Drive. Um, next slide. So this is a, a, um, a, a um, page I added just from after Wednesday's meeting, I was asked this question. I just brought all of the um, funds into one page, showed what their revenues were, what their expenditures were, and what the surplus and deficit was going to be in each fund. Um, now, there was a question that came up today, Tim was telling me about the 35 million. Um, some of this relates to, oops, sorry about that. Be right back. Oh. It was me, I lost it, huh, okay. Um, it depends how you look at it. Those items that are in to total other financing, that, that is transfers, the loan, the bond deal. If you take the 35, 229 in expenditures and add the transfers, that's where that 35, eight number comes from below that I spoke about on Wednesday. And on the revenue side, if you add the 327, um, 123 and 6 million, that's, that's where the, the big chunk of the difference comes from, is we are going to get money through the rollover bond, through the IMRF loan, and for transfers from the general fund. It just depends how you look at it, um, which parts you add up, but, but essentially the expenditures for the village are, are going to be right at $35 million. And with that, are, are there any questions? Oh, I, I can answer a question that was already asked to me. For those three accounts with those, those large um, deficit numbers, they're, they're deficits in this spending year. But what we need to know is starting the year, the MFT fund has $1.7 million in it. The Roosevelt fund has $4.3 million in it. So we actually have money that we have had as surpluses in prior years and we have been saving it to do these much larger projects. So it's not that we're going in to a deficit, it's more that we are spending the money that we've already saved and mm -hmm. anticipation of these types of projects coming up in the future. So Tom, can you explain general fund, if it's a surplus or a deficit in our surplus outside of the um, other funds that we have? For the general fund, we are we're forecasting, forecasting a small surplus of $12,000. $12, okay, yep. that's all I have. Yep. Okay. And uh, that's trustee after Chess? everything, expenditures, transfers, everything. Oh, okay. Trustee yep. Child Malave, you have any questions? You're on mute. 
You're on mute. Sorry, I'm a newbie, I'm learning. <laughs> um, just that I'm learning this process with the TIF funds. Um, is it is it one of those things like if you don't use it, you lose it? Because I, I was just, uh, you know, when I was reading that memo about those accounts that were uh, closed and whatnot, uh, I was just wondering. Um, well, so, so this thing, they're all, they're, they, they all have their unique properties. The TIF funds are that way. If you don't use it up at the end of the TIF cycle, that money is it goes back to the county and then re, redistributed to the taxing bodies. Most of the other ones though, if you don't, the, the, the object here is not to spend all your money, is to spend less than all your money so that you can have some savings so that you can do something bigger yeah, yeah. In, future, in future years. Mm -hmm. So MFT funds, we don't spend them, they roll over. Um, mo most of, most of, most of the funds are that way. What we do, we're a little different than appropriations um, type of budget. We are, we, we actually use a budget form. Appropriations, that money is the departments and then they might have individual monies carried over. The way the budget process works is you have this money this year. If you don't spend it, it goes back in and we, the next year we do it all again. Um, and you can, and you can see that in the, um, I can't really back up in the presentation in presentation. If you look at the presentation last year, we budgeted this $6 million pro, uh, loan in the water fund and the projects, but we never used it, it the, the, because of everything that happened. We never got to, to borrowing the money and doing the projects. So even though it was there last year, I have to put it there this year because now we're expecting it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, from experience, um, in particular, uh, the streetscape project, that might go on for, for several years when you have an extra external party like the state who might take a while to get around to actually providing their portion of the funds. Okay. That's why you see it year after year until it's actually done. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. That's it, Trustee Child Malave. Yes. One more question. Trust, trustee Senior. Okay. Hello. Hello. I did. Hi. I did have one question. So sure. I was. Um, you were mentioning about the streets and the alleys that were going to um, get fixed from the I EPA loan. Some were getting fixed and some were not getting fixed no didn't qualify or couldn't get it because they right. were getting the um you said they were getting the um i guess i call it the green where they're putting the the pipes inside the in the streets to repair it so the ones that are not getting it is because they're only doing the top surface correct i think i'm understanding that yeah, correctly you, you that's right. if, that's right. if okay to, if if <laughs> and matt can give you a lot of detail on this but if they have to dig it up to replace the pipes then mm -hmm. they'll pay, they, they'll let us use the money to rebuild what they had to dig up. Okay. The, other, the other parts of that alley, we don't have to dig up, but they're still in bad shape and it makes sense just to go straight down the thing and do it all. Okay. So that's okay. why we had to find a different <laughs> source of funds to cover that portion. Okay. Okay. So I was just trying to make sure that I was understanding, you know, yeah. that correctly. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Trustee Senior. Trustee Tierney? Mm -hmm. I have no further questions. I got my answers uh, during the budget meeting. So thank you. Thank you, Trustee Tierney. Trustee Abraham? Hi, good evening. No questions. Everything was all good from the last meeting. Thank you. So is no one in the, in the chambers to ask a question? Um, I don't know if we got any questions. The electronic clerk, uh, McGree, did we get any uh, public comments via uh, email to you? Not as of now, Mayor. Okay, well, at this time, I'll call for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. The property motion by Trustee Tierney, seconded by Trustee Abraham. We'll have a roll call to adjourn. Yes, please. All right. Trustee Tierney. Yes. Trustee Abraham. Yes. Trustee Senior. Yes. Trustee Chamalabi. Yes. Trustee Armour. Trustee Armour is absent. Trustee Miller. Trustee Miller is absent, and Mayor, this is uh, hereby adjourned with four by uh, four to zero.
at 6.56 p.m. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Before you guys disconnect, I just want to remind you that our regular board meeting starts at 7.30. And then after that, we do have an, a closed session this evening. So they'll prompt us when we get to, to that line item. But I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. So thank you and have a good night. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay.